The more I work with it, the more impressed I am with Ed Cafe. It's like a toolkit of AI tools for teachers, but it's really well organized. And what I particularly like is the way that the activities that it generates look. The formatting is superb. The feedback for students is superb and the layout and the way that everything is organized. In this video, I'm going to show you the YouTube quiz generator, which is definitely the best quiz generator that I've come across. I love the way it works and I love the way it gives feedback to the students. Really hope you like the video and as always if you do please like it, please share it, please comment on it but most of all if you can join me on my YouTube channel. Let's get started. Okay, so if you want a link to Ed Cafe, look in the description below. When you log on what I want you to do is to click on create new. You can create a free account. Now, really outstanding is the chat bot, the reading activity, which I've already made a video about. And in fact, I'll put a link to that on the screen now. That is superb. But the one I wanna look at today is YouTube quiz. So I want you to click on YouTube quiz and straight away you'll see that there's no fuss. It's just asking you to add in the URL link to the video that you want to generate the quiz from. I'm searching for daily routine in English. This first one looks absolutely fine. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to use this link here at the top. So I'm just going to copy. Obviously, it could be any topic and also it can be in multiple languages. It doesn't have to be in English. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to paste in the link. And then the next thing I do is click on this button here and that's going to start to generate or well, first of all it's going to pull the video in there it is and now we can choose now I've always used the multiple choice questions you can choose automatic you can give it a number we'll just do five notice here that we can put in some optional instructions now this is the only tricky thing you've kind of got to work out the student level and I guess it's based on the American system so I'm going to write ninth grade which when I do activities in Polish seems to be about the right level and of course we've got lots of languages now this video is in English so I'm going to keep it to English but of course you could use this for studying other languages if you're a student and then I'm going to click on generate YouTube quiz and off it goes but what I really like is that for every question, it gives a detailed explanation of the answer. Now, let's just have a little look at what it's generated. So we get here at the top of the video, and then we can see what is the correct answer. So we can always go through, and if we don't like a question, we can actually just delete it, or we can regenerate it. Now, I haven't had to do either of these Things, but you do have these two possibilities you can edit as well but I'll show you that in a minute so you would go through just check that you're happy with the answers you can add more questions if you want but now this is the important thing click on the save button once you're happy and give it a name so I'm going to call this one routine in English and I've got it I've actually generated some folders but you could just save everything in the library I've got a te early tests I'm going to click here I'm going to make it public and I'm going to click on save now the quiz is ready but what we can do at this stage as well is edit if there's anything we want to change simplify change the questions we can do that but this is where it gets really powerful is it's so easy to share this activity so that other students can do it. Now the students don't need to be logged on to Ed Cafe. Only the teacher needs an account. So all you need to do is click on the assign button. Once you've generated your YouTube quiz, notice that the students can access it through a QR code. But the way that I've been doing it is by clicking on copy link. You can copy that link share that with students and then the students can do the activity now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you what it looks like for the students if they do the activity and then i'm going to show you what information you get about the student's performance so i'm going to log in as a student so i'm going to paste in that link i've already copied the link i'm going to paste it in and i want you to see i'm just going to write let's put in the name tom tom's going to play the quiz You've got the video here on the left hand side and then you've got the answers here on the right. I love the formatting. I really think this is well organized. And obviously what you do is you click on the question, so the answer, sorry. So I'm just gonna quickly put in any answer. 
And what I like also is that you can stop and start the video, very simple. But once you've watched the video and then you've answered the questions, and of course you can move it backwards, etc. You submit quiz and look at what you get. Immediate feedback. And if you scroll down for each question, you get an explanation of what the correct answer is and why. And this is what I really like about Ed Cafe. Now let's jump back to the teacher's mode. Notice now that we can see that there's already one response. And if we click here, we can actually see a breakdown of what answers students are putting and what the actual correct answer is. Okay, so I can clearly see that this student didn't get any right. And in fact, as well as an overall summary of all the students, which is what I'm looking at now, I can look at individual participants. So we've got Tom. And if I click here, I really like this, you get this kind of screen here with a breakdown of what Tom has done. Now, I just want to show you, if we come back to create, I just want to show you a couple of other things. There really are a lot of useful tools here, and I've already started making videos about them. I've already mentioned at the beginning that there's the video about the reading activity, but also I've done one about the chatbot. Now, if you are a language learner or a language teacher and you want to look at the chatbot, I can highly recommend it because one way that the chatbot works is that you can upload content. For example, you could upload a YouTube video and then talk about it. So this is going to be great for your language practice and I've been using this in Polish and in French. But I can recommend as well many of the other tools and I will be making videos about those in the future as well. Really hope you've liked the video and remember if you did like it, please like it, please comment on it, please share it etc because it really helps my YouTube ranking. Thank you very much. Okay, really hope you like the video and if you do, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's hundreds more videos on the website. There's a really popular section on teaching and using AI. I specialize in, in making videos to help language teachers use technology. If you want to sign up to the newsletter, then that way you can keep up with all the latest videos, the free webinars that we run, the courses that we run, etc. And at the moment, if you sign up to the newsletter, there is a special 14 part free course that you'll be sent. You'll be sent a video about every three or four days that really just focuses on the most popular technologies on my YouTube channel that teachers have reacted to. And that really builds up into a really nice course and gives you a strong basis in using technology in language teaching. It's completely free and literally everything that I show you uh, is a free technology. If you'd like to have live training with me, then think about joining me on Patreon. On Patreon, for $6 a month, you get three free videos from me each month without any advertisements in them. But the important thing is those videos are connected to a monthly webinar that we have where we meet live. And we normally work with the technology that we focused on that month, or sometimes it's two technologies. And we do activities and really learn to use those technologies well, so that then you can try those out in class or online with your students. The other interesting thing about joining me on Patreon is that actually you get access to all of the backdated material. So there's over a year of videos and live training, this training is very practical with lots and lots of ideas about things that you can do in the class or online with your students teaching languages. So it's much more practical than the YouTube videos and you get that as part of the $6 a month. Okay, I'm going to leave some more videos on the screen that I think you might find useful.